But, but, the real question, okay, about the hit, and that's what I'm calling it because that's what everyone keeps telling me about. Have you seen the hit? Did you check out the hit? Okay, the thing about the hit that I gotta get out of the way first and foremost, okay? A lot of people saying Evans needs to keep his head up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, okay? Shut up. <laughs> he needs to keep his head up. Uh, no, he doesn't necessarily, okay? He doesn't because ultimately it's his choice where he wants to put his body out there on the ice. And a lot of people are saying he, he had his head down looking at the puck. And he does. I, I think I think that's actually true, though. I, you know, his head up is it, it, his head is up at times, Leslie. But really, if you look at it at the time when he's, when he's stretching out to try and score the goal, it looks like his head is down looking at his hands or the puck or whatever he needs to look at. OK, now. So people are saying he's blindsided because he had no idea he was about to get smoked. I don't believe that necessarily. OK, if that's true and he never once saw Shifley coming. I'm not saying the hit is his fault, but he should be aware so at least he can brace himself a little bit. And even that that the ability to brace yourself can stop you from getting seriously hurt in a hit like that. Clearly, he made no effort to avoid getting hit at all. That part is true. Whether Evan saw him coming or not, that part is true. He made sure, uh, or he, he, he was not trying to stop uh, himself from getting hit at all. I think he sees Shifley coming because the whole way around the net, you see a guy barreling down. I mean, if you've played the game at all, it's not its not a, a TV screen, like a first person shooter, guys. Your vision is not this little square that's only focused on one spot or the other. You've got peripherals, okay? You can see a lot of things, even though you might be focused on one. So I think he's focused on the puck. I think he's focused on trying to score a goal, okay? To make it a two goal lead with a minute left in a, in, in, in a game one part of a playoff series. Okay? To set that tone of like, we're winning this thing. And I think he does see Shifley coming, which means we should be giving this man a round of applause for sacrificing the body. If Evans actually sees Shifley coming and still decides to not even worry about it, just worry about getting that puck in the net because he's like, I got to score. I don't care what happens to me. Then hats off to you, Evans. Absolutely. I hope that is what you did because man, that is a crazy, crazy sacrifice of the body that not a lot of players are willing to do, and it's playoff time, baby. So you deserve all the respect for reaching out and just being like, I don't care what happens, I gotta score this. <laughs> okay? So I don't want, I don't think Evans should have been hurt. Obviously, I don't want that for the guy. Um, I, I, I don't think that uh, he did anything wrong. Uh, even if he did have his head down, um, that's going to happen sometimes, okay? Um, so let's get that out of the way right now, okay? I get nothing against Evans and I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. Sound good? Okay, cool. That being said, okay, um, like, is it a penalty? Okay, I'm cool with that. Is it a suspension? Yeah, okay, I'm cool. To be honest, with how they call things uh, in the NHL, suspension, not a suspension, penalty, not a penalty, that could have gone either way. That could have gone either way. We saw what happened with Tom Wilson. There was no real repercussions for that. But yet, this is all of a sudden a four-game suspension in the playoffs, mind you, which playoff games always have a bit more weight. They say it doesn't, but we all know it does, right? It has a bit more weight when you hand out a suspension in the playoffs. Four games is more like 12, right? Like, it's got a weight to it that's just too crazy. Um, so, they could have not called anything on this play, and I still would have been like, okay. Because I have no idea how they call things in the NHL anymore. I don't get it. They keep wanting a speed game through the regular season, but then when they get to the playoffs, all of a sudden, they, they want violence. Then when they get violence, if it goes against what it looks like in the regular season, they go, oh, oh, can't do that. So I don't know um, if you're trying to get, if you're really trying to focus on player safety here, if you're the NHL and all you care about is those hits to the head, trying to eliminate them as much as possible. If that's what you're trying to do, call it a penalty, call it a suspension. I'm with you all day. If that's your main concern, but it better be your main concern all the time then. Don't be letting some guys get away with it and other guys not get away with it. We don't know what the rules are in the NHL right now. Neither does Shifley. He's trying his best, okay? So, is it a penalty? Yeah, I, I'm cool with that if you want to call that a penalty. Is it a uh, suspension? Yes, again, I'm cool with that if you want to call it that. I'm also cool if you don't want to call it that, though. I'm kind of staying out of that fight. I just don't know, okay? What I know is, the one thing I know is, if you are one of these people calling for Shifley's head, calling him a scumbag, calling him a dirtbag, calling him whatever else you want to call him, okay? Saying he should be kicked out forever and all this other stuff, okay? Shut up. Shut up. You don't know this guy, okay? And if you're really paying attention, you should see that he's got no track record of doing these kinds of things intentionally before. The man's had like, what, one suspension for a boarding, I think he said in his presser, okay? 
He doesn't get charging calls. He doesn't get vicious uh, uh, boarding calls and stuff like that. He doesn't get those penalties because he's not that kind of guy, okay? And I know some people are saying, yeah, but he flew down all the way from the other side of the ice before he finally smashed into him. That's got to be a charging. That's ridiculous. How could you go that hard from that far and smoke a guy and not expect to get... That's a disgusting hit. No, no, okay? They're down a goal with a minute left. If he gets back hard enough, he can stop that goal. It, took, it would have taken three extra strides. If he could have been three strides further ahead before uh, Evans got that puck behind the net or wherever he picked it up, okay? Three strides is all it would have taken. One, two, three. If he was that much further ahead when that play happens, there might not, there might not have even been a body check. There might not have been. He might have been able to squeeze him around from the other side of the net, cause him to stop, turn around, have the other jet defenseman come in and actually like stop him. Who knows? Who knows what would have happened if he was three strides ahead? Okay? But when he's down at the other side of the rink, his only focus is, I got to get myself back because I got I to gotta try and stop this goal. Okay? Now people say, oh, but he, he, he gave up the poke check and he just went for the hit. Did he mean to send a message? Maybe. That's still allowed in the NHL. Okay? You're still allowed to send a message in the NHL. Meaning, if he has a choice to stop a goal by poke checking it and maybe missing, or clearly looking like he was going to hit him in hopes that it intimidates him. And Evans, who if he if he was really watching, knows I'm about to get smoked right now. If that causes even a moment of doubt, which it didn't, like I said, beauty play from Evans. But if it even causes a moment of doubt where now that player braces instead of shoots, he could have saved the goal with a hit too. Okay? So him making a decision to throw a hit instead of a poke check could be pure intimidation, could be pure sending a message saying you're not going to mess with us like that in our own barn. Doesn't matter. I don't think he meant to hurt the kid. I don't know if he's a kid. I'm sorry. I, everyone's a kid to me in the NHL, but <laughs> I don't think he meant to hurt him at all. Okay? And you cannot sit here and vilify somebody every single time that an injury happens on the ice. Okay? And if you think I'm biased because I'm wearing this, remember, I'm one of the few Leaf fans that stood up for Corey Perry. Okay? I'm one of the few guys that actually said Corey Perry didn't mean to hurt him. Now, the difference here is Shifley meant to hit him. Shifley meant to make contact there for sure, right? But I don't think he meant to hit him, and I don't think it was an intentional charge. You could call it a charge because he was skating so fast that under the rule, he should have pulled the brakes up a little bit before he drives that hit. But he didn't know he was going to make that hit until he realized there was no other option for him. He wasn't going to be able to reach the poke check in time. So if he looks like he's going to go for the hit instead, maybe Evans will see him coming and freak out and double back. Maybe. That's the only chance he's got. Okay? The only thing that makes this, uh, this, this hit a bad hit, and it is a bad hit. The only thing that makes it a bad hit is the fact that he clipped him up here. Okay? I know in the NHL they're trying to target this and say you can't hit here, okay? But the reality is if you want to stop a lot more head injuries, not all, but if you want to stop a lot more, you got to make the zone like here, right? From the front, from the front of a guy, if you're coming through the front of him, you pretty much have to get low like a tackler in the NFL and drive your shoulder through here, through the logo, right? Think about that. If Shifley comes in low and puts the shoulder right through the gut, we're not even talking about this. It, it's not even an injury. Maybe a broken rib or something, to be honest. But head injury, we're not talking about it anymore. And then you can decide if you want to get rid of hitting or not in the NHL. But for the for, for right now, Shifley, the thing that makes it a, a, a bad hit, not a dirty hit. Dirty's intentionally trying to hurt. Bad hit is that he hits him right about here, which, under the rule for now... Not really a head hit, I guess, but that hit, you guys know, you get hit there, that head's coming forward right off the shoulder, right off the visor, or whatever else he's going to hit. I mean, Evans was knocked out before he even hit the ice, guys. So I agree that we need to get rid of, uh, of head injuries like that as much as we can, and I think if Shifley goes about 8 to 12 inches lower on his hit, we don't even have a problem right now, okay? Because you're allowed to hit guys hard, okay? You're allowed to hit guys hard in the NHL. It's still a thing. And when someone does it, I don't need people sitting there threatening a guy's family and his, and, his, and his parents over a mistake. It's a mistake, guys, okay? And now, fans are one thing because it's a bunch of anonymous people, right? We know they're going to lose their heads and everything like that, okay? But most media people weren't doing anything like that, okay? 
And then you get these weird hybrids of like me and 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 and, and other people that are like a fan, but we're also trying to be kind of like the media, or whatever else. Okay. And I'm telling you, one of my one of my I would I, I would like to say colleagues, if I could be so bold, okay, had this to say, right? Uh, the intention is clear to injure an opponent heading into the next game. That is put forth by somebody who has a mass following, right? Over 100,000 people, I guess so, subscriber-wise at least, right? Has a mass following. Wearing this stuff, by the way, so not even involved in the series. Sounding off about a player that he does not know personally. There's no need for that. You know what I mean? The reason why guys in suits on TSN and Sportsnet and all that stuff can say things like that if they want is because they don't represent a team. They don't represent that, okay? They are media, so they wear stuff, okay? And that's it. Now, if you want to get into media instead of being like a super fan like this or whatever like that, cool, then drop this, right? But you gotta make that separate. You gotta separate yourself from that somehow. Maybe you don't put it onto your own accounts. I don't know what, okay? But calling a guy like Shifley saying he was an intent to injure, you've never played the game, bro. You've never played the game, and we know you haven't because you've told us, okay? Some of you guys know who I'm talking about here, okay? You've never played the game. Do not disrespect a player like that when you haven't done it, okay? I don't care if you've played House League. You already have a better understanding of the game than most people who have never played the game. Playing it once as a kid growing up, an actual season on a team, you will learn so much about this game and about how fast you have to make decisions that sometimes you think you're making the right one and it's a mistake. Like this Shifley one. It's a mistake. Okay? So before you start hauling off and sounding off against players calling them, saying that there's an intent to injure and, 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 and flipping out, okay? And some, some of the other accounts out there are saying even worse things, right? Especially some of the Montreal ones. Turns out we got jerks in all fan bases, don't we? There's some Winnipeg fans laughing right now, right? There's some Habs fans furious right now, calling for, for all kinds of things to happen to Shifley. Enough. You're all jerks, okay? I'm sorry it's your player that got hurt. I'm sorry it's your player that did the hurting, so now you feel you got to back him. You don't, okay? All you have to do is just say, these are people, look at their track record, and you'll see that Shifley is a, is a guy that's had respect through his entire career in the league. He's an absolute beauty, okay? He's not on my team, so what? Shut up, okay? You're not involved. You're not out there. So, I mean, hopefully I haven't lost you all in the chat for me ranting like that there, okay? But that's that's really what it comes down to with this hit. I, I, I'm done other than that, I think, right? You want to see an example of, of this exact same thing that wasn't called? Look at the Tory Krug hit last season, or was, was it? Or the year before in St. Lu uh, against St. Louis? Tory Krug's... He gets smoked in front of, he gets his helmet knocked off from a bunch of cross checks in front of his own net, right? Then he skates as fast as he possibly can down to the other side of the ice, okay? He's only trying to get back into position because now he's last out of the zone. He's trying to catch up, but by fate's good fortune, that puck comes around to the St. Louis player that was roughing him, roughing him up back in his own zone. And now, with only two steps away or three steps away, he, he stops striding, glides, and smokes the dude one of the biggest hits i've ever seen in the nhl clean clean hit okay and why because there was no contact made with the head okay but it was the same mentality he flew if, if he was trying to hit him the whole time you could have called that a charging call but you can't because all he was doing was trying to get back into position at full speed same thing that shifley did okay it's just in that moment where he decided oh jesus decide what to do when he realizes he's got no choice he made the wrong hit okay he made the wrong type of hit could have got lower and then that kid's not hurt i keep calling him kid i'm sorry i'm sorry evans if you're older than me or something like that it's just I, if you're in the nhl i assume you're in your 20s now because it's like no older people left uh so i don't think evans should have got hurt i don't see him i don't want to see him get hit in the head like that uh, I don't think he did anything wrong either. Even if he does have his head down, it's going to happen, guys. If we're going to say that it's an accident when you hit somebody in the head, you have to say it's an accident to be looking down. It's just part of the game. So players that want to throw hits, you got to watch out for that. Okay? But other than that, what it comes down to, bad hit. Good player. So both fan bases need to shut up.
okay? <laughs> so now we're gonna get into what you guys are saying about this stuff as well, and uh, I'm gonna play some video games, because it's Friday night, okay? If you're watching this on YouTube, I mean really, right? Even in the off-season, go Leafs go. Right, thanks Leslie. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get into it, okay? So first I just wanna take a quick look here.